Hello students of class 7th. I am from Nadar Sutta. I teach you maths. This is your maths book. And the first chapter is integer. About integers, we studied in previous class also in class 6. Integer we denote as I and Z also. And in this, all the negative natural number and positive natural, natural number included Z. Positive natural number 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Negative natural number minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. 0 is simply an integer. Neither positive number nor a negative. Now, multiplication of integers. If we take two positive numbers, it gives positive number. If we take two negative numbers, then it gives positive number. If we take one positive and one negative number, this is giving negative number. And if we take one negative number, one positive number, it gives negative number. Now, the properties of integers. About properties, you study in class 6. Properties of integers over addition. Now here over multiplication. The closer property. If we multiply two integers, it gives only one integer. Here the example is minus 2 minus 3 which gives 6. Minus 2 is also an integer. Minus 3 is also an integer. And its multiplication 6 is also an integer. Commutative property. If we take two integers, minus 2 and minus 3, and if we reverse it, minus 3 into minus 2, it will give only 6. So, this is commutative property. Associative property. If we take three integers and write it like this, 5 into minus 2 together, then we solve, it is minus 10 into 3, this is minus 30. If we take 5 minus 2, 3 together, then also it will give minus 30. So we can say associativity is lying on multiplication of integer. Distributive property. Fourth property is distributive property over addition. If we take 3 integers, 5, 3 and 6. And 5 into 3 plus 6, if we solve it according to word marks, then 5 into 9, this is 45. And if we solve, after distributing 5 in both these integers, 5 into 3 plus 5 into 6, this is 15 plus 30, 45. In both cases, you can see same answer is coming. Distributed property over subtraction, same thing in addition as it is in addition in subtraction also. 5 into 3 minus 6. Then 5 into minus 3. This will give you minus 15. And if we distribute it in both the numbers, 5 into 3 minus 5 into 6. This is 15 minus 30. It will give you minus 15. In the, both the case, cases you can see same answer is coming. Now, fifth is existence of multiplicative inverse. 3 into minus 1, 1 into 3. That is 3 only. Minus 6 into 1 and 1 into minus 6. This is given minus 6. What it means? 1 is multiplicative identity. 1 is the number if we multiply in any integer, same integer comes. Now, Sixth one, existence of multiplicative inverse. If A is an any integer, then its multiplicative inverse is 1 by A. Suppose any integer is 3. If we, if we take 1 by 3 and multiply it, we will get 1 only. Same thing, minus 6, then its multiplicative inverse is 1 by minus 6. That is equal to 1. So we can say if any integer a is there, then its multiplicative inverse is 1 by a. So related to these properties, some questions are there in exercise 1a. This is 
exercise 1a so solve these questions based on these property so for today that much only thank you